Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Better, better. Welcome to another great day here. It's a little cooler day, just like GFS is a little cooler school. So let's get ready to quiet ourselves as we begin our morning prayer. Christ is risen. He is risen. Today's reading is from St. Paul to the members of the church in Corinth. St. Paul reminds the Corinthians of the many people, including himself, to whom Jesus appeared after his resurrection. In the name of the Father, Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Let, Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, sing to him, sing praises to him, tell all of his wonderful works. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord be blessed. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. No, no, no. Okay. Now I would remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaim to you, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve, then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died, then he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one ultimately born, he appeared to also me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Think about this silently in your heart. Why do you think Paul wanted to remind the early Christians of Christ's death and resurrection? Let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others our family, neighborhood, and the world. For each need we say, Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world and for all those who work for peace, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those in our world who are affected by illness, violence, economic troubles, or oppression, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those in our community who are sick or without a job, that they feel God's healing presence in their lives. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our entire school community, may God keep us all safe throughout this school year. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of the pandemic, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the quiet of our hearts, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray our prayer. Let us pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Glory to you, O Lord. We sing Alleluia and praise your name. We give you thanks. Christ is risen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As they say, the show must go on. We are excited to share that the Student Council is preparing a virtual talent show for our 5th through 8th grade students. 
We are so excited to share the talent of our T-Wolves. Please prepare a video up to three minutes of your talent. It can be singing, dancing, an acting skit, a stop motion video, or another unique skill of yours. All videos should be sent to Mrs. Delsega via email and the talent shows up in the students in grades five through eight. Videos should be sent by May 2nd and should follow the format and tidbits. Email Mrs. Delsega for more information. So without further ado, on with the show. Yay. We have some birthdays to celebrate for today and the weekend in first grade, Nendra Leonard! Yay! In second grade, Will Isamas! In third grade, Peyton Foster! Yay! In fifth grade, Victoria Francia! In fifth grade, Remy Trepanier! And we have a very special staff birthday, Miss Teakin! On Saturday, in seventh grade, Kesley Reganow! On Sunday, in second grade, Sophia Carabello! In sixth grade, Vivian Morales! Yeah. In seventh grade, Pablo Bunnell! Yeah, we have a very special staff birthday, Ms. Carmela Price! Yeah. We have another very special staff birthday, Ms. Rothell! What do we say to our birthday people today? Happy birthday! Please join me in saying the prayer before the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart, and give me your faith, a certain hope, for charity, sense, and knowledge, so that I may carry out your holy and true kingdom. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, and have a fulfilling Friday. Don't go away yet, because it's the 13th day of Easter. 13th day of Easter. 13th day, 13th day, 13th day of Easter. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday.